What's going on people, it's your boy Furza here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video guys we're going to be taking a look at all of the hidden map changes and some of the most obvious map changes within today's update 8.4. There's actually been quite a lot of changes within today's update but one of the most obvious ones which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen already all over the internet and stuff like that is the one at Loot Lake. Now a lot of people are saying that this looks like a massive eye in the middle of Loot Lake. A lot of people are saying it's going to be a portal or it's just going to open and Kevin the Cube is going to come out. There's a lot of speculation as to what it is personally. I don't have a clue as what it is but it is actually really interesting we haven't seen anything like this in Fortnite Battle Royale as of yet and I'm really curious to see what happens with this sort of portal or door or whatever it actually is let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below I'm really open to hear you guys theories and thoughts it's real interesting I'm really excited let me know how excited you guys are as well this location is actually pretty fire now in my opinion because you know there's no more water surrounding the whole area so you can literally run the whole way through Loot Lake and you don't have to struggle with like jumping around in water and stuff like that there's also quite a lot of like um, sites that they've actually added it looks like security posts or something like that to keep people out but obviously in those buildings you guys are going to be able to find loot and stuff like that as well so a, a huge map change right there let me know your thoughts and opinions on that now another hidden map change that I want to speak to you guys about is at Pleasant Park so if you guys went to this house that I just showed you guys on screen you guys can enter a hidden area underneath the stairs and once you go down it's actually quite spacious down there it, it seems like it's actually bigger than the house itself but once you break through this little barrier you guys will see what I'm saying there's quite a lot of loot to actually pick up down here and in my opinion that's definitely uh, a decent change because this house before was pretty trash so let's be honest like you go to the house there'll be nothing on the bottom floor in the top floor you probably find like one gun and then sometimes in the roof there would be a chest that spawns but now as you guys can see down here we find quite a lot of loot crates and then in this room right here i actually find three separate chests so now this house actually caters to four maybe five chest spawns which is definitely a nice improvement in my opinion now heading over to the blue house in pleasant park there's also another hidden map change in this house as well so if you guys just go straight into the door you'll see that there's like some form of fridge or whatever the hell that is just break that and you guys can actually go downstairs it's not as spacious as the other location the other house that i just showed you guys but it's definitely definitely spacious and does cater to quite a bit of loot as you guys can see I just found a chest right there and then when I run around this corner inside here you guys see that I find another chest and some more loot in this room as well so a decent map change right there and in my opinion guys it's definitely a nice improvement to Pleasant Park as that is now two houses that have had some form of buff now moving over to Retail Road, the most obvious map change guys is that the Der Burger restaurant is now finished and as you guys can see it sits across from the other restaurant which is Tomato Town, well it's not Tomato Town, I don't even know what the restaurant is called, I'm just going to call it Tomato Restaurant right now, you lot can grill and correct me in the comment section below. But the map change that I want to show you is in this building right here, if you break this uh, car you guys can actually go into the basement now. Now down here it's actually pretty cool, you find a few chests, as you guys can see I found one on my left and I actually found a grappler which is something that you're definitely definitely going to need well not need but definitely something that you're going to want if you want to get out of here as fast as possible and you guys will see what I mean in a second but I just wanted to show off my guns real real quick because there was a set of weights right there so let's get on with the showcase so if we go through here there's not much in the bathroom but there is a hidden chest in one of those dog houses and then in this room right here you guys can go up the stairs and it looks like a little communication center or something like that um, nothing on the chalkboard but there's also a ammo crate right there and then obviously that's pretty much it for this location but here is what I meant about the grappler if you do have a grappler you can get out nice and easy without cracking a sweat but obviously guys that is the major map change for retail row and obviously the Durberger building let me know your thoughts and opinions on that in the comment section below but the next um hidden map change that i want to show you guys is going to be in snobby shores and this is pretty much going to be the last map change there is one more that i haven't covered and i didn't actually get any footage of that and i'll go over that briefly basically if you guys know about a statue that like is around a map he looks like the iron giant in my opinion but he has basically moved and he's now like near the lava where the tunnel was near uh, Tomato Temple if you guys understand exactly what I meant it was a bit jumbled up but I didn't get any footage and I'm sorry for that but yeah that was another map change that I didn't include in this video but in this map change over here in Snobby Shores guys basically all of these buildings have been rectified from how they used to be in the old seasons if I'm being 100% honest I feel like it does add a nice little effect and not effect but theme to this area of the map you know it's less boring now there's a lot more colours going on the buildings do look a bit jumbled but it, it just looks a bit adventurous in my opinion you know it's, it's definitely a decent map change 
regarding loot i don't really see any like more loot around this area no hidden chests or anything like that the buildings are pretty much the same but like some of the buildings do have like extra parts that have been added on so that for those extra parts that have been added on to the buildings you will get a bit more loot for that specific building but like the current um drops and like spawns for chests and ammo crates which were there before are still there for the, the most part anyways let me know what you guys think about this that was pretty much all of the map changes in today's update this is something new that i'm going to be doing on my channel where i pretty much go over all of the map changes every week or every two weeks when we do get some major map changes in the game let me know if this is something that you guys are interested in i will really appreciate the feedback anyways as i said already if this video was helpful don't forget to like comment share and subscribe it's been your boy furs i am out peace